Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a double first impressions video. I've never done that before. So these two things kind of go together and I thought it'd be fun to do a first impressions on both of them. And I was like, why don't we combine them because I'm using them together. They might affect the results of each other. And hopefully we'll still be able to do a good review and really get a true reading of how these things work. So for once, when I'm doing a face makeup video, I did my eyes so I don't look so naked and crazy. I didn't do my eyebrows though because I feel like a lot of the times when I'm doing my foundation, my brows just get in the way and I get foundation in my brows so I'll do those afterwards. So the face product I'm trying out is something I've been dying to try for a long time. One of my favorite YouTubers, Marissa Lace, swears by this stuff. She says it like kind of helped clear up her acne. She had a lot of breakouts going on and she's she just has like so many tubes of this in her makeup bag at any given time which is amazing because these aren't cheap but I just have been dying to try it I'm always down to try a new face product I don't have anything right now that like really works for me at least shade wise I have some formulas I really like but I'm kind of like running out of everything slash throwing out old face products so it's time for me to hunt for new ones so I ordered this off Poshmark so it was a little bit cheaper than it would be elsewhere it's the it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus us color correcting full coverage cream and has SPF 50 so that's amazing and the really cool thing about this well it's chemical filter free and paraben free and it looks like it'd be a tube but it's not it has a pump so I think that's really clever packaging so I'm excited to try this I got mine in the shade fair and this is 1.08 ounces and cruelty free and made in Korea so and the packaging has pretty little silver stuff on it, so I'm excited to try this. My mom pumped some out and played with it. She put it on the back of her hand and she was rubbing it in and she said it like really dried her out and she could not take it off. Like the next day, she still saw some residue on her arm. So she was like, that stuff's weird, but I'm still dying to try it because I trust Marissa's opinion. And then the other thing that we are trying out ah, is this new brush set from Real Techniques. It is their ultimate base set and it's limited edition. It pretty much just came out and this brush is brand new exclusive to this collection and then it comes with a cute carrying case. So I wanted to show you guys the box. I always think their packaging is so pretty. It has all this shimmery orange silver stuff on the side and I hate taking it out of the packaging but I wanted to show you guys before I rip it open what it looks like. So it comes with their Miracle Complexion sponge which everyone says is like a good dupe for their beauty blender and I actually already have have one of these and I like it and I use it all the time and at first I was like oh I don't need another one and then I was like wait a second sponges you're supposed to kind of like get a new one and throw your old one out every few months because they can get really dirty and they deteriorate and mine I already noticed like a little chunk was missing in it so usually once they start getting like holes and pieces ripping out that means it's they're getting kind of old this will be a backup in my collection so I won't be trying that out today I don't think I really want to use it with this anyways um, but I was going to use it with this beautiful brush. This is their expert face brush and it says it's ultra firm and broad for buffing cream or liquid foundation. So I've never tried a brush like that. I've only ever used flat top kabuki brushes or like flat synthetic bristle brushes for foundation. So I'm excited to try it with this. And then this brush is brand new. It's their deluxe concealer brush, dense rounded bristles for well blended concealer application above and below the eye area. And it comes with a mirror to go case in the back and it has like a little protective flap that goes over the brushes so when you fold it there's a mirror on the other side you don't get all the gunk from your brushes on there so I watched a little video demo of this set and they talked about that so that's really cute and then you can take it with you on the go which is perfect so I'm about to leave for vacation so I could just stuff these in their own little case and they're protected so let's bust these open and see how they all work usually their brushes are so soft and fluffy this set is only 18 dollars too which is amazing because if you were to buy like a beauty blender by itself it would be twenty dollars so that would be just a sponge and you get so much more than just a sponge in this set for that price so I'm really addicted to buying their brushes I've been trying a ton of them da -da -da. Hello. oh hello babies oh no sponge fell on the floor so this is their miracle complexion sponge if you've never seen this it feels very like memory foam it's kind of denser than the beauty blender in my experience but it works just as well I really like this flat edge for kind of baking the under eyes Ooh, so this is little travel case it's white with a little orange strap it says real techniques on it and it comes off but it's still attached so that's really smart Ooh, and here's where you can put all your brushes and the flap I love when 
you throw in extras like that. These brushes are both kind of on the smaller side, which I like because I feel like brushes are always too big for my face. Is that weird? Ooh, that's really, really soft. That feels so nice. I'm going to put on some concealer after the CC cream and try to blend it in with this because I think that's what I'd use it for. I was thinking this would also be perfect. You'd use it even for eyeshadow, for a blending or a crease brush. Well, it says it has dense bristles, so, so it's probably good for liquids. It's really lightweight feels nice and I was thinking I could also use it for like powder highlighter it's a good size for that because the brushes I use for that are just giant and then it gets like everywhere and then you're just a glitter fest and no one wants that I feel like that would fit really well there down your nose wherever else you want to use it so of course brushes are very versatile you can use them for whatever you want this baby oh I'm super excited about it it's kind of an oval instead of being completely round Ooh, and I like that it is denser wasn't as dense as I was expecting. It still kind of run your fingers through it and it kind of flops around a little bit, but I could definitely see this being good at buffing in, oh, that tickles, buffing in liquid foundation. And I think they suggested use this for bronzer. Yeah, that'd be a good size for your cheekbone area. So I feel like I'll definitely try that at some point. So here's the before of my skin, nice and shiny, nice and red around here. We got pores, we got redness, we got pimples, oh yeah. Yeah, we got pimples. This is a freckle, not a pimple, just FYI, it's always there. So, my skin's being perfected by my lighting as always. So just, whatever you're seeing now, multiply it a little bit. So I'm just going to moisturize with Clinique Moisture Surge, as I always do before I put on face makeup. I'm not gonna use primers or primer sprays, cause that's cheating. And I wanna see how the CC cream wears on its own. Hopefully I picked the correct shade. If this is too light for me, I'm gonna slap myself because that will be the third face product in a row that has been too light on me. <laughs> Burt's Bees, <laughs> hard candy. It's so hard to tell online. I didn't really look up swatches either, so that's kind of my own fault. So let's pump this baby out. Ooh, that looks like a good consistency. I trust it. It's not all separated or anything. Ooh, it kind of has a fruity smell or like an herby, natural, organic-y smell. It smells like a natural food store, kind of. So I'm gonna take this brush in there and uh, see how this goes. You can see like all these brush strokes, so it's gonna take a lot of blending. When Marissa applies it, it just goes on so easy on her, so that really made me want to get it. A little shine going on in my cheekbone. It gives kind of a natural finish. It's not really matte, but it's not greasy either. When she uses it, it looks very full coverage on her, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit of medium coverage. Maybe it's because of the brush. I think you could layer this. It's pretty thin and easy to apply, but this brush is kind of making it difficult. It's too floppy, you know? I kind of wish it were a little firmer, but it does fit in areas like this very nicely because it's smaller than most kind of foundation brushes. All right, let's go into the war zone, the forehead. Woo, hello. Just gonna walk around like that. Hi. This is really like perfecting my skin. I think this is a good level of coverage. Some BB creams I expect to have high coverage and they don't so I really like CC creams because they kind of act more foundation-y than BB creams but still not as thick as foundation. And they have worked well for me in the past. I have way more favorite CC creams I feel like than BB creams. I'm gonna layer more product here where I get really red. Buffing in circles works a lot better for this brush. And if you wanted to get into small areas like blending right here, you could always use that sponge or even this smaller brush in this set. I feel like that would work really well. Well, already I'm liking this a lot more than other face products. I've recently done um, first impressions on. I like the coverage. It spreads very nice. It blended in pretty well. Um, it has a little bit of a glow, so I would definitely set this with a powder and probably a setting spray if I were gonna be wearing this all day. I have oily to combo skin if I didn't say that already. Whoopsies. I'm having a really easy time blending around the edges. Like the product hasn't like set yet and made it hard to move. The brush still has some product on it so it's just kind of going along. So as far as color goes I won't know till like I go look in the bathroom mirror. When I was applying it on here I look like really pale and white right now. Um, if I back up can you tell a little bit better maybe? But I think like 
to me, it looks good. In winter, this will definitely work on me. I'm not even really tan right now, but I feel like just summer in general makes me darken up slightly, but I feel like it's not terribly different than my neck color. I feel like that was really quick for me to do my whole face and kind of touch up some areas that were harder to blend. This did a pretty good job. I wish it were ever so slightly firmer, but the size is perfect and kind of the flexibility and length of the bristles does make it easier to blend. And it's so soft. I just want to keep putting it on my face. Product did a pretty good job. It's not really hiding my oily spots too well, so I'm wondering if um, the kind of oil will break through this product as I wear it longer. So I'm still not going to set it with a setting powder, but let's just note that from the get-go I do have a lot of glow here. This does not want to be mattified and neither does my forehead. Kind of sticky. I feel like it's on there and it's not going to get sweat off too much. I don't know. I'm really impressed with both of these so far. I can't quite put my finger on why, but that just felt so easy. I could see myself doing that exact routine every single day. Um, I used all the product I put on the back of my hand. It's kind of left a little sheen, like it has some skincare benefits in it. If I see any spots that need a slight bit of blending, I can just easily pop this brush in there and it really, it fit all the areas of my faces I needed. It wasn't too big. I really like both of these so far. I'm giving this brush a big thumbs up. I think you can buy this one separately, but the concealer brush, since it's new, it just came out with this set. So let's go in with a little Maybelline Age Rewind and apply some concealer under my eyes so we can see how this bad boy blends. I'm back with some Age Rewind, so I'm just going to apply it with the little sponge it comes with and blend it out with this brush. Compared to the BB cream, usually this is like a ton lighter than my foundation, but they're the same right now and this looks much more pink. So maybe the CC cream is a little too light on me if they look the same color and this is normally like much lighter. So let's go in with this boy. Ooh, it's blending nicely. This would be also good for using some setting powder right under the eye. It's like the perfect shape and size. So even if you didn't already have cream product on it, you could go in and set this exact area I'm working on. And then when one side gets dirty and has too much product on it, you can always twirl it around and use the other side. And see how well that concealer works. I love this stuff. But blend it out pretty nice, better than my finger would do. It's not super streaky or anything. It looks pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with the way that went. I think it might have taken off a little product in this area where it's the darkest, but there's a lot on the brush still, so you just kind of tap it back in there. So let's see if this already dirty can still blend out this other side successfully, because I feel like it might have a tougher time. So before I was kind of tapping, now I'm dragging the product. Drag it like Kim dragged Taylor. So it's a little slow to blend this side because it already does have some product on it. I'd probably wipe it off with a towel or a tissue or use some spot cleaner in between just to make your life easier because I feel like this side isn't blending as nice and there's a little bit more brush lines visible. I'm going to follow my own advice and wipe some off on a tissue. Yeah, we had a lot on there. So there we go. No brush strokes on that side. I don't think there are any on this side. I think I got them, but there were more visible. And then if you need to go over small spots on your face, you can with this guy. So I'm going to do what I said I would and take some pressed powder and just set my under eye area because I know this concealer will most likely crease if I don't, regardless of not wanting to set the CC cream. Oh yeah, that's like the perfect size for that area. Not too big, not too small, fluffy enough. This is picking up the powder product very well, distributing it nicely. These might be some of my favorite Real Techniques brushes I've tried. They just work so well for what they're supposed to do. So as for these brushes, super impressed. I think they did a really good job. You guys will have to let me know what you think based on what you saw in the comments. And as for the CC cream, it definitely looks great right away. I really like it. I feel much more confident and my skin is just like perfected right now. So the coverage I feel like is buildable. I did go over some spots like multiple times with this 
bigger brush and it didn't get weird or anything like that. It's not really too cakey anywhere. It's not clinging to dry spots. And this stuff is not cheap. P.S. This is like 30 something dollars, I think. So um, I would hope it works a little bit better than some of the other cheaper drugstore face products I've been using lately. So I will check in with you guys later. It is currently, oh my god, it's 7.30 and I have some packing to do. I think I'm going to film another video. So I might finish off my face and just do some contour and blush. Hopefully that will not interfere with the wear time of the CC cream too much. Usually my cheeks don't have a problem. That's not where I'm oily and that's not where the product comes off. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Ooh, it's like a fun sound when you cook them together. ASMR. Real Techniques brushes. Hi guys, so this stuff has been on for only three hours now. Oh my goodness. Well, I can tell you. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the damage. It is settling into these lines above my lips and it's definitely getting shinier. I think on my forehead it might have like completely disappeared in some areas. Um, so if you have oily skin, I would definitely do what you do to make your makeup last all day. This doesn't have like extreme lasting power. If you have oily skin, use a setting powder. Definitely, this definitely needs one. Setting sprays, primers, what have you. But I think it looks really good. It didn't oxidize. I like it a lot. It is a little too pale for me, but um, I'm sure in the winter it will be a perfect match. I like the texture. It applied really well. Um, I think a primer would make it so it wouldn't settle into lines as much. I think this would be good for a lot of skin types. It doesn't really cling to dry patches, so dry skin could probably use this. Oily skin obviously can use this. It's pretty versatile. Something about it just makes me really like it. So I'm gonna give a thumbs up to this stuff. I can't wait to play with it some more. I think I just need to adjust it a little bit to work for my skin type. So like when you first buy a bra, you have to like adjust all the straps and the clip in the back and you have to make it your own. So this product is good, but if you have oily skin or dry skin or whatever, do whatever you do to make your skin look good with foundations. Exfoliate if you have dry skin, set it if you have oily skin, you know, but I think it is a very versatile product that could work for a lot of people and I really, I'm enjoying it. Something about it just really speaks to me and you don't really smell it once it's on your face even though it had a smell on my hand. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to join the Glam Bam fam if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below so we can chit chat and I will see you in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!